Dibs, C Dog, and I'm back with another quick review. This is on the Transformers Adventures Runabout. And they just announced Runamuck, who's the white brother of him from the G1 era. And he's a million publishing exclusive, unfortunately. So I'm going to try to find a friend to go in. It's a two pack. I want the run amok, and I know there's people out there that just want the other figure, which is a repaint of Power Glide. But looking at the figure, we have some nice red details for the headlights. You got a nice Tampograph Decepticon symbol on the hood and on each side of the doors. You got blood red on every single window, including on the back spoiler like thing. You've got peg on wheels, but. They're at least pegged on from the inside, and the pegs don't show through. Not bad. He rolls, you know, like a figure should. And to transform him, oh, he has a, a little, I might as well show this off, this uh, accessory here. And you can either put it like this for when he plugs in on Menasaur, I guess. You can plug in the Menasaur, and then this plugs in as a chest plate, or... In car mode, he can oops, he can also plug into these two holes with those two pegs, like that. So he looks like he has guns. And I can see how this works for Rodimus, but for Runabout, it does not work. I think it's stupid. So we're gonna just remove that and get that out. This is a gray plastic, and this is like a darker gray, almost black plastic. Might even be black. And to transform it, we just want to separate the back window here from the legs. And then we pull out the arms, which are attached, these hands, via attach. You see these little, like, uh, basically protrusions? Yeah, you basically attach. And you see that little, uh, there's like a peg, or like a small peg right there where my thumbnail is on the left. And the hands basically attached and clip into that spot. You can hear it clip. See? So it clips right in. Anyway, so you want to take this out and you rotate the arms out to bring the shoulders around. Then you would take this and hinge it all the way up and throw this to the back. Clips like that. And the back window pops to the front. And this is runabout in his robot mode and all you would do left is swivel the arms and use them as the hinges and let's take a good look at that head sculpt and let's see if we can get a better look at it there we go oops sorry about that my camera's falling <laughs> all right there we go you can see he's got red optics and a gunmetal colored faceplate. He's got Tampograph Decepticon symbols on his shoulders. A couple red details on his shoulders as well. Some red paint in the inside of the back of this canopy here. that, Or this uh, part, the back of his backpack, I guess. And you see some red details on his feet. And the Decepticon Tampographs on the side of the doors become the side of his arms. Looking at the back of him, he's got that Decepticon symbol there. Proposability, you can hinge and swivel arms, except for the wheels here, have uh, they take up a little bit of room, so you will get a tiny bit of hindrance, but not much. Um, he stays pretty solidly together. You saw that lift, but that's not uh, really a problem usually, so that will hinge, it will swivel out. You have the hinge and swivel arms, uh, elbows, sorry about that. His head will just is on a swivel. His hips go 95 degrees up and 90 degrees out. So really good uh, range of motion there. His leg will go back a little bit. And if you move this out of the way, it'll go back even more. He's got uh, ball jointed knees that swivel as well. It will act as a, a thigh swivel. And that's pretty much it. And you can also take this and use it as an axe. So that's his accessory. And it'll stand like that. Um, that's runabout pretty much. And he came with a sticker. 
I put it in the packaging. You can see it right there. It came right on the back window right here. And uh, we'll just take a quick look at the packaging. And just a really quick look here. So, got his, uh, that's his artwork on the front, on the front of the package. We got product image, more of that same artwork. Transformation, little bio with some Japanese writing. You got the game and the tune. That's going to do my review. Please leave a comment if you got something to say. Like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share with your friends. And we'll catch you next time. Peace. Yeah.